Hi guitar legs, I'm Gray at Hub Guitar here today with another plucking hand exercise for finger style guitar. Today's pattern is a straightforward roll. It's going to use thumb, index, middle, and ring, and it's going to span across string five, three, two, and one. So here we go. We're going to start with a C major chord. It's pretty similar to the familiar C major that we all know, except that we've got a G on the top of the chord. So to get that, I need to put my pinky on the third fret of the high E string. And of course, since I'm not playing the note on the fourth string, I can just lift up that finger and skip it entirely, or you can leave it down, totally up to you. So I'm gonna put my ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string, nothing on the fourth string, open third string. And then I'm gonna put my index finger on the first fret of the second string, and my pinky on the third fret of the high E string. And plug those straight down. Thumb, index, middle, ring. The next chord is a C major seven over B which means I need to lift up my finger that's doing the third fret here, and I'm gonna replace it with my middle finger, which is now on the second fret. I'm also going to lift up my pinky finger. Note that I do keep my index finger rooted on the first fret of the second string the whole time. You might also have noticed I kind of delayed lifting up the note on the high E string with my pinky finger until the last moment when I needed to. That gives it a little bit more sustain and uh, oomph, as we call it in the professional music world. Going down to A minor 7 in the next measure, we've got an open 5th string, which is nice, open 3rd string, also nice, still index finger on the 1st fret of the 2nd string, and an open high E string. And we just do that roll right down there. Now the next chord's a little weird, it's a B flat kind of weird chord. So we've got to get our index finger on the first fret of the fifth string and then our third and fourth fingers go on the third frets of strings three and two. Now that chord is really a little bit tricky, especially because down here in open position the stretch feels pretty tough. So if you're struggling with that, just go ahead and lift it up and do what I call chord push-ups. Just do like a million of those and you'll get pretty used to playing that chord. It's actually a very neat and surprisingly useful open chord, so it would be good to add to your toolkit. Now, as written, each chord is played once. But you could double the chords up, and that would help you to spend more time invested on thinking about your plucking pattern and a little bit less time worrying about switching chords. So I encourage you to try that out as well. Remember, this is a right hand or a plucking hand exercise. So try to spend less time worrying about chords and more time worrying about the plucking hand. If you're having trouble with these chords, check out one of the other exercises and maybe the chords will be a little bit easier and we can spend that time focused on the plucking hand as planned. All right, that's it for today's exercise. If you enjoyed it, I hope you'll stay tuned because I have many more coming. Thanks very much for watching.